children, they are being introduced to art, especially drawing. So when you want to find out about art, you have to know God first was an artist, and that was his first profession in the world. God created light, heavens, the sky and the filaments, the land, the sea, the plants, heavenly bodies, the sun, the moon, the planet and the stars, birds of the air, fish of the sea, animals of the land, and finally man. Notice, man was created last to enjoy God's artistic creation. Here lies the secret of art. An artist is to create for themselves first to satisfaction before they can expect anybody else to enjoy their creation. From creation, we get our inspiration. There are different functions of art. Art provides physical, social, and personal functions. Uses of art. Art is used in communication. It is used in expressing one's feeling. It's used for decoration and beautification. It's used for commemorations, like war memorials. It's also used for keeping records of important events, history and culture. It is used as worship and rituals. There are different types of art. Drawing, painting, fashion, textile and apparel, sculpture, photography, architecture, print, film, dance, and optical illusion. In this particular season, we'll concentrate on the drawing part of art. There are three categories of art. Visual arts, this includes drawing, architecture, pottery and ceramics, performing arts, dance, music and theater, and literal arts, fiction, drama, poetry. While starting as an artist, we have to know about shapes because everything has its own shape. There are regular shapes, the triangle, quadrilateral, pentagon, hexagon, circle, oval, square, rectangle, and then there are irregular shapes. Then there is texture. There is rough, coarse texture. and smooth texture. Then there are surfaces, marble surface, formica surface, and hard surfaces. There is a spongy surface, slimy surface, and prickly surface, like in the case of a cactus. In art, there are artistic terms that you should know in order to proceed with art, especially drawing. There is dimension of object. A solid object is an object with volume. We can create this effect in an art by shading. A flat drawing is a drawing with no shading to allow the visibility of its technicality. For example, architectural plans and art in fashion. Composition. Composition is a subject matter to be illustrated, painted, or even photographed. You can photograph fruits, architecture, or even people. Balance. A scenario where the object is well distributed in the composition. Proportion. Comparison in size of one object to another. There is normal proportions and exaggerated proportions. Rhythm and movement. Drawing with repetition of lines, shape, texture, value, and form. Paper layout. The arrangement of a composition in a paper. It can either be vertical or horizontal. Use of space. The drawing should be balanced with the space around it, not too big or not too small. It should fit the perfect space so that it can look appealing to the eye. When shading, you have to notice there is a highlight tone, a mid-tone, there is reflected light, there is a core shadow, and the cast shadow. With this introduction, we can easily and comfortably move on to the next place where we show you the types of pencils and material we use for drawing. Thank you. An artist can be anyone who makes and creates art. 
There are many different ways to be an artist because there are many ways to make art. However, art is the product of human skill and imagination, which can take many forms, and an artist is someone who creates it. What are some of the most famous art movements? Throughout history, artists have been testing the boundaries of their field by exploring different techniques and styles that have never been used before. Out of this experimentation, new art movements are formed that become inspirational for the next generation of artists. Some of the most famous art movements include line art, Impressionism, Art Nouveau, Cubism, Surrealism, Pop Art, and Minimalism. A Brief History of Art Renaissance Art Baroque Art Classical art Romantic art Modern art And contemporary art Art Fun Facts The first non-figurative cave art is in Europe and has been dated to 64,000 years ago. This means it was produced by Neanderthals rather than modern humans. The earliest figurative cave art is from about 45,000 years ago. Some of it has been found on the neighboring islands of Borneo and Sulawesi. The ancient Egyptians, Greeks, and Romans decorated their walls with art painted straight onto the plaster. This includes the decoration inside the pyramids. In the medieval period, tapestries were created by some of the finest artists in the world. They were also helping in keeping cold castles warm. Art is constantly evolving. Today, Everything from a classic painting to an NFT is considered as art and traded at high prices. How do you create art? There are no rules, but having a finished product in mind and selecting the tools to achieve it is a useful, time-saving skill to have. To get started, it is important to understand the different types of materials that can be used. Perhaps you might prefer to hold a pencil rather than a paintbrush because you have more control with the pencil. Or maybe you want to try mixing paint, pencil, and colors together. Twinkle tip! If you're a beginner, pencils are the best tools for drawing because you can erase it easily if there's a mistake. Next, it's important to know what materials to draw on. First up is the classic printer paper that is available almost anywhere and great for all art activities. If you're thinking of painting, then some thicker sketching paper is a fantastic choice so the paints are less likely to run through the sheets. Then, determine what colors you would like to use. Experiment with colors, understand how they can be combined to create new ones, and don't be afraid to get messy. The last thing that's needed is some imagination. Anything you can put on paper can be art if you wanted to. There are no limits. If you need inspiration, many artists choose to draw or paint self-portraits. Sometimes it's to show off their skills or to project how they see themselves to others. This blank face template is a great start to get creative when thinking introspectively about how you look to others. It also helps recognize and accept differences in how people look. Art has endless benefits. For example, 
Art can help children develop creative problem-solving skills, feel more self-confident and proud of their creative achievements, develop motor skills and hand-eye coordination, and connect with their own culture as well as with the wider world. Twinkle has dozens of art resources for you to choose from, 